On a chilling winter day, Emperor Akbar and his wise minister Birbal were meandering by a lake. The air was crisp, the ground blanketed in frost and the lake a mirror of ice. Curiosity peaked, Akbar dipped a finger into the frigid waters recoiling instantly from the biting cold. I don't think anyone can sustain a night in this chilly water, he mused aloud. The assertion hung in the air, a challenge waiting to be picked up. And so, as the sun began to dip and the shadows lengthened, Akbar made a promise. A sum of 1,000 gold coins, he declared, to the soul brave or foolish enough to spend a night standing in the freezing depths of this lake. As the words echoed, a poor man, his eyes reflecting the glimmer of hope and the lure of gold, stepped forward. And so, driven by the promise of gold, he decided to undertake this frosty challenge. As darkness fell, the poor man stepped into the icy waters, determined to endure the freezing night. The biting cold wrapped around him like a shroud, but he remained steadfast, his eyes locked onto a distant lamp flickering atop the emperor's palace. It was a beacon of warmth in the chilling darkness, a symbol of the reward that awaited him. Every shiver that ran through his body was a reminder of the struggle he was enduring. Yet, the poor man pressed on, his spirit unbowed. The lamp's glow, despite being thousands of feet away, ignited a fire within him. Its light was his lifeline, his ray of hope in the bitter cold. His resilience was fueled by the promise of a better tomorrow. He stood, unbroken, against the icy onslaught, proving that perseverance could indeed triumph over adversity. As dawn broke, the poor man, worn yet undefeated, emerged from the lake ready to claim his reward. In the court, Akbar asked the man how he managed to stand in the freezing water all night. The man, shivering yet determined, explained that he had kept his gaze fixed on a distant lamp, burning on the palace rooftop. Its faint light had been his beacon in the frigid darkness. Akbar, however, was not convinced. He argued that the warmth from the distant lamp had helped the man endure the cold. He refused to give the man his promised reward, stating that the man had not truly faced the challenge alone. This verdict left the court in a hush. The poor man, his hope extinguished, felt a deep sense of injustice, but he was not ready to back down. He had spent a night in the freezing cold, with only a distant light to hold on to. If the emperor would not grant him justice, he would seek it elsewhere. And so the poor man, denied his reward, turned to Birbal for justice. The next day, Birbal absented himself from the court, and when inquired, he invited Akbar to his home. As the emperor stepped into Birbal's humble dwelling, he found himself puzzled by an unusual sight. A pot filled with polenta was hanging high in the air, suspended above a small fire that flickered on the floor. Birbal, ever the gracious host, invited Akbar to sit and wait with him. The emperor, intrigued, asked Birbal about his peculiar setup. Birbal replied, I am cooking this polenta, your majesty, and it will be ready soon. Akbar, however, was skeptical. He pointed out that the heat from the small fire was unlikely to reach the pot hanging so high above it. Birbal, seizing the opportunity, mirrored Akbar's words back to him. Just as this small fire's heat cannot reach the pot, so too the warmth of a distant lamp could not warm the poor man standing in the cold lake. The simplicity of Birbal's explanation was striking. The lamp, much like the fire, was too far to provide any physical warmth. The emperor, taken aback, saw the wisdom in Birbal's words. The heat of the lamp had not aided the poor man, it was his sheer determination and willpower. Birbal's wisdom had once again prevailed, leading Akbar to realize his mistake. In the end, Akbar rewarded the poor man as initially promised. It's a beautiful testament to the emperor's growth, acknowledging his own mistake and rectifying it. The humble lamp, a beacon in the frosty night, served as a symbol of hope for the poor man, not a source of warmth, as Akbar had initially assumed, this story serves as a powerful reminder of the strength of hope and determination, especially in the face of adversity. And so we learn that a ray of hope is enough to inspire the one who is ready to work hard,